Hey dolls and gents, I hope that everyone is having a bomb day today. I have gotten so many requests to do a video on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, the new shades that Jackie Ina worked on Too Faced with to create. And Jackie definitely did her thing with the new shades that she created for deeper skin tones. I am so excited for y'all to see the swatches. Also, just seeing how it applies on the skin. This was the first time that I used the foundation and I was pleasantly surprised by the formula and everything. I had tried the Born This Way foundation before. I was using the shade Mahogany, but as y'all know, it was super orange and it just didn't work for me. The color was always off and it oxidized like whoa. So I'm excited that I actually have a shade for me well I had to mix two shades but I have a perfect shade for me I'm wearing it on my face right now we're gonna talk about the foundation the coverage all of his claims whether I think you should purchase it or not and I'm also doing a long wear test for you guys so if you want to see that definitely stay tuned and if you're not already subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for click that subscribe button down below also hit the bell so you're notified as soon as i post a new video turn all of your notifications on that way you know when your girl posts a new video because your girl posts videos very sporadically i know i need to get on like a schedule i'm, I'm trying i'm trying y'all okay but until then just Turn your notifications on. It'll make it a lot easier for you. By the way, can we talk about how heavy this PR box is from Too Faced? I did receive these foundations in PR, but as always, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on it. And oh my goodness, this is like the heaviest PR box that I think I've ever received. But do y'all see that shade range now for the Born This Way foundation? Amazing. Yes, I'm here for it. I hope y'all are too. So I'm going to start off by applying primer because I always apply primers to my face before I do my makeup. And I have been using two primers on my face for like the past year or so. So I'm going to use the same primers that I really, really love. And hopefully they work with this foundation because they work with every single other foundation that I use. So I'm first going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Y'all know this is holy grail for me. I feel like whenever I don't use this primer, my foundation just does not turn out as flawless. Maybe it's in my mind, but I really notice a difference when I accidentally forget to use this. So this is the first step for my makeup application every time before I do my foundation. And I am very generous with it, <laughs> as you can see. So you wanna wait and let that set into the skin before you move on to the next step. I do like to double prime. I use the primer water, and then I like to go in with the pore filling primer, specifically on my T-zone area, just to make sure that when I apply my makeup, you do not see any pores. So I have been loving this one from Tarte, but this is what the old packaging looks like. I have use this bad boy so many times you guys as you can see and when you first get it it's literally full to the top so yeah i'm hitting major pan on this baby but a little bit of this definitely goes a long way you want to make sure that you really warm it up in your fingers first before you apply it to the skin so i like to literally like smooth it over my pores and that way you are filling in any pores that you have on your skin. I don't feel like I have really large pores, but I do notice a difference with this. And I do notice that this does help if you have any fine lines as well. So I also like to put it right here on my smile lines as well. So if you have any lines that you want to fill with your primer, just use this product and it will do a really good job. 
So I have never tried this foundation on my face or anything. I wanted to do like a first impression video for you guys, but I went ahead and swatched three of the shades that I felt were closest to my skin tone. So this first shade is called Shy and it's described as a deep golden. So it definitely is a deep golden color. Next up we have Mahogany, which is one of the original shades. And in the middle is the swatch of Mahogany. I don't know if it's transferring that well on camera, but this shade is super orange. This was the closest shade that they had for my skin tone before Jackie Ina did the collaboration with Too Faced to come up with some better shades for deeper skin tones. So yeah, this shade is super orange and it just never worked for me. And this is described as a very golden brown, but to me, it's not so much golden. It's very orange. So the last shade that I swatched that I felt would be closest to my skin tone is Spice Rum. And I forgot to mention that both this shade and Shy, the first shade that I shared with you guys, are Jackie Ina's collaboration with Too Faced. So she did come up with these shades and they are like amazing. So here is the swatch of Spice Rum. So as you can see, it is quite a jump from Mahogany to Spice Rum, I feel. Um, I would have loved like a shade maybe like in between this one, Chai, and Spice Rum, but I'm probably gonna end up mixing Spice Rum and Chai to get my perfect shade because as you can see, Spice Rum is a little too dark and it does have like a rosy undertone. I would say it's like more neutral than the other two shades, but this one is definitely like a golden shade and I do have golden undertones, so I will end up mixing both of these to get my perfect shade. Like if I just got back from the beach, this would be bomb on me. I feel like I probably could get away with using this if I like really highlight, but I'm going to mix to get my perfect shade. So I'm really not sure if I want to use a brush or a beauty blender. I tend to use a brush, but I feel like with this foundation, a beauty blender might work better, especially since it has coconut water in it. But I'm going to first try it out with a beauty blender, and then if I feel like it's not going on that great, I'll use the brush. So we'll just see which one works the best. So I'm using this beauty blender mixing palette. It's called Surface Simple. I got this a while ago. I really never use it, <laughs> but I'm going to use it today so I can mix these shades. So that was Spice Rum, and I'm going to mix it with Chai. So I'm doing equal pumps of each and then I'm just going to mix it up with my spatula and I'm going to apply it to the skin. And I'll do one half of my face first. So I'm using a damp black beauty blender. This is the Pro. And I'm just going to press this into my skin. And let's see what kind of coverage we get. So just for reference, I have been obsessed with the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I use the shade New Caledonia and I'm obsessed with it. Like this is the foundation I've been using for a while now. And y'all know before that I was obsessed with the Lancome Tint Idol in the shade 520 Suede W. So with the Beauty Blender, this does definitely have a natural coverage. So I'm going to use the Beauty Blender on this side. And then I'm gonna use a brush on the other side and we'll see what the full coverage is like. Wow, I feel like the color is like perfect. Like that mix was like perfect. Y'all can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But honestly, this isn't enough coverage for me personally. 
I like a little more coverage because I can see my flaws peeking through. I typically do not use a beauty blender for my foundation, but I thought that maybe with this foundation, the beauty blender would work best. So if you want a more like light to medium coverage, use a beauty blender. But if you want a full coverage, I would say go for a brush. And I'm gonna test that theory out now. I don't know for sure, but I'm willing to guess that it will be more coverage with a brush because that's typically how it goes. But that color match is bomb. Yes, Jackie. It's not too orange. It's not too golden. It's just like perfect for my skin. Oh my gosh. Yes. I wish there was like a baby between Shy and Spice Rum. Then I would only need one shade. But you know what? I'm good with this. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. powder brush. I love this brush for applying foundation. So I'm again just going to take the foundation and just put it all over the skin. Hopefully I'm applying the same amount. If not, don't kill me y'all. So what I like to do with my brush is I do like to coat it with foundation first. So yes, I can already tell off the bat <laughs> that the coverage is like night and day with the brush versus the beauty blender. Do y'all see this? <laughs> like I'm getting some bomb coverage with this brush. I should have went in with the brush to begin with. Yes. Both sides look good. If you want less coverage, go with the Beauty Blender. That's this side. If you want more coverage, go with the brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more coverage to this side so I can even it out. So I absolutely love the way that this foundation looks on the skin. I love the application with the brush over the Beauty Blender because I do prefer a more like medium to full coverage foundation. Y'all know that. And the foundation just like sets into the skin. Like I don't feel like this foundation is wet anymore. It feels like it's almost got a powder like finish to it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup how I normally do and then I'll be right back with you guys. So I just finished doing my full face makeup and I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I think that the foundation is bomb, but I definitely wanna talk about some of the claims that Too Faced stated via their website. So the first claim that they made is that this foundation is hydrating. I would definitely say that this foundation is hydrating when you first put it on the skin, but after that, it does seem to have more of like a semi-matte finish. So if you have dry skin, just keep that in mind. Too Faced also claims that this foundation is long wearing. I will be testing that out for you guys. It is already late in the day. It is 8.26 p.m. right now, so I am going to wear this foundation for eight hours, not do any touch-ups, come back and show you how it's looking. So another claim is that this foundation is photo-friendly and no flashbacks, so I'm gonna test that out right now with my phone. So I would definitely agree that this foundation does not have any flashback and I did go in and apply powders over top but I use like the same products that I use on a regular basis. So yeah, you will not have flashback with the foundation. Another claim is that this foundation is medium to full coverage. I definitely agree with that. You will get light to medium coverage if you use a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, and you will get medium to full coverage if you use a brush like I did. So two other claims is that this foundation is undetectable and that it blurs imperfections. And I would definitely say that it's definitely undetectable before you apply like powders and other products and things because I can definitely see the makeup on my face now because I've applied, you know, my concealer, hella powder and all types of things because my skin is oily AF, so I have to do that. But just after applying the foundation, it definitely looks like skin and it definitely does blur your imperfections. So I agree with every single claim, except I still have to test out the long wearing capability of this foundation. So I will check back in with you guys in eight hours. Eight hours, dang, how long is that? Ooh. 
that's gonna be like four in the morning, but you know what, I got y'all. So I'm gonna keep this makeup on my face until four in the morning and check back in with y'all. So I am coming back and doing an eight hour update for you guys. It is now 4.29 a.m. Yes, your girl is tired, but I promised that I would come back and give you an eight hour update. So I made sure I stayed up for y'all. I did go out and I was doing some cleaning, some cooking, some eating. So what I've noticed is that I have some makeup breakage right here around my mouth and my smile lines and just right here around the corners of my mouth. I think it's because I've been like talking, smiling, and eating. I also noticed like underneath my eyes a little bit of breakage here, but I've been noticing lately that my under eye area is dry, so I do not attribute that to the foundation. But right here is my major concern, but I do tend to get smile lines, so I'm not really concerned with that. Everywhere else, it pretty much still looks good. It is a little bit shiny. So let's go ahead and powder my T-zone a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark and just really start to mattify this out. And as you can see, it just takes away that shine so quick. So I think that overall, this foundation is definitely long wearing. You can just keep a little powder just to keep touching it up. As you can see, my lips have wore off as well. Let's go ahead and touch that up too. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3. I cannot find my cork lip liner right now. Dolly has chewed up like all of my cork lip liners. Ugh my little bad Pomeranian puppy. And then I'm gonna use Lime Crime Cashmere. That's what I had on my lips earlier. So yeah, y'all can let me know if you think this foundation held up. I definitely think that it did and I would consider the claim of it being long wearing as true. So as you can tell, I am really filling the Born This Way foundation. I'm so excited that I actually have a shade will I actually have to mix two shades. That's the only bad thing is that I don't have a shade that perfectly matches me, but I do have to mix shades in a lot of foundations. I do hope that they expand the range a little bit more, but if not, I really don't mind mixing two shades because like I said, I do have to mix my foundation shades a lot to get like that perfect shade. And right now, this is like my perfect match. The undertone is right, the color is right. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Jackie, for coming up with these bomb shades. You did your thing with Too Faced on this collaboration. I'm so happy for you, girl. Congratulations. If you're like an NC50, NW45 at MAC, you will probably end up having to mix chai and spice rum like I did. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I'm like a foundation junkie, so I love reviewing foundations. So if you think there's a foundation that I haven't used or tried on my channel that I absolutely need to try, or if you're on the fence about purchasing a foundation, I will try it out for you first. So let your girl know in the comment section down below. If you're interested in checking out my hair, be sure to check out my last video. I give you all the details and how I styled it. So click the video right here and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye.